I think it's interesting what's going on in terms of the, um, the, the movement of folks within hip hop who are raising this question of uh, corporate accountability, okay. um, or certainly around um, corporations being able to get around the law. Um, there's an organization called uh, industryears.com, uh, headed by Lisa Fager, and um, they've been very out in the for forefront just raising the question of there are laws on the books that the industry, uh, whether it's television or radio, aren't obeying. And if they were, a lot of the music that's being played would not be being played during the hours that they're being played. So I think they're an important organization. Okay. Um, one of the things that one of the things, and, and I think that there are other groups. Um, Rosa Clemente is working with a group called Reach. They were very instrumental in uh, in, in protesting Hot 97 and a lot of the activity um, that Hot 97 was involved in, calling themselves the the uh, station of uh, hip hop. I can't remember what their what their little moniker is, but um, where yeah, where hip hop lives, right? And Rosa Clemente and others really just you know just challenging whether or not what is true hip hop. So you have a critique within the hip hop community itself that is, that is challenging a lot of the notions that people outside of the hip hop community just assume that people in hip hop just, you know, are, just, just are with it. And then lastly, I mean, a couple of questions that you know, I've thought about you know, while, while, while just kind of sitting here that I want to raise. One is, you know, for a long time I kind of really felt that we were seeing a, an emergence of a hip hop feminist movement within hip hop, whether it was um, the discussions we were having with people like Lisa, Fa Lisa Fager and Rosa Clemente, or books like Mark's book, or books like Jones' book, or even the, um, the uh, Feminism and Hip Hop Conference at the University of Chicago. But, you know, as I, as I travel around the country and, and, and talk to young women, a lot of times, you know, that conversation isn't trickling down to them. So that's one thing. The other thing that I want to raise is, and this is something you raise in your book, Tracy, and that is, the whole reluctance of a lot of young women to even call themselves feminists. And so, I mean, I think it just opens up another conversation. I mean, how can we start to really deal with these issues if, um, you know, do we need another language for young women to start to think about how to empower themselves and think past uh, the way some of these, the way some of these issues are being presented? Just, just something I want to just kind of throw out there. Okay. 